Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I hope you are all doing super well. Uh, I've bought a house. Me and Primrose bought a house. Thank you so much for all the amazing messages that we had on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, we completed a couple of days ago, and yeah, we bought our first house, which is absolutely amazing. And more importantly, the desk and everything is now properly set up so I can look at doing some sit down videos. So if you did have any suggestions of things that you would like to learn, some techniques that I use or any sort of thing that I can help you with with regards to post processing, um, that I can help you out doing sit down videos at home, then please do just drop us a comment down below and let us know what sort of thing you would like me to do. But today I thought I would talk to you a bit more, whoops, but today I thought I would talk to you a bit more about my case filters. So recently, maybe in the last two months or so, I switched over from graduated filters to the magnetic filters uh, for a couple of reasons. But I just wanted to say they are absolutely phenomenal. I've been, yeah, been using them now for, I reckon, about eight to ten weeks and uh, completely transformed the way I work and the way I think about photography and how I go about executing my images. And I think that's really important to stay on top of your game and always be thinking about settings and composition and light and all these things because the problem with me, or the problem I had rather, um, I started to become a bit complacent with how I shoot. I was kind of already envisioning uh, what graduated filters I needed to put in for the sky and settings for ND filters and stuff. And I was just becoming quite stale and complacent with the way I'd go about shooting and uh, I needed something to kind of fire my brain off again and get me thinking again. Uh, I'm one of these people, like I made in my last video when I first got these, um, you guys might have watched it, but I'm one of these people that likes to really keep learning all the time and keep things fresh. And I think your photography can really benefit from that because you're just thinking so much more about settings and light and getting it right in camera before bringing it back to the PC and going about your edits. And since having these, my edits have been a lot simpler um, because I've been trying to get it absolutely bang on in camera. I have dabbled in Photoshop for years and I do use it for my edits, but over the first lockdown, I taught myself how to exposure blend properly. That's really helped when you have really, really bright scenes and very, very harsh contrasty skies with dark foregrounds. But since owning these filters, I have really, really started to believe in my camera a lot more and how much it can push the boundaries and pull back shadows and pull back highlights because there's just so much information there. So I bought the 82 mil uh, magnetic pro set. So that has the three stop, the six stop, the 10 stop and the circular polarizer. Um, and all my lenses for my Lumix S1R are 77mm. So you could get the same ones, but you risk getting vignettes at like 16mm. So I've got 77mm on all of my lenses, and then I can just alternate the filters between the lenses if I need to. Um, you know, if the light was changing and conditions were changing and I wanted to change lenses, I don't have to worry about putting rings on. It just makes the whole process so much quicker and more efficient. Uh, and they really are just absolutely fantastic. I am very biased because I am associated with Case. I am a pro partner for Case, like you guys know. But I did buy these with my own money and uh, I did transition and make the switch myself because of, you know, reasons that I wanted to keep things fresh and keep things going and keep my brain ticking over. And uh, yeah, but they come in this really nice leather case. It's really nice and professional. And what I love about it is just the size of it. It's so small, it fits in my pocket. And actually most of the time now I do carry it in my pocket. I don't even bother putting it in my bag. Uh, a nice little handy clip on the back there to clip it onto your tripod. But so this is the circular polarizer, just a standard circular polarizer. And uh, it's got a little ridge on the back and so this is the circular polarizer. Uh, it's just a standard circular po. Oh my lordy, 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 lordy. Let's put this on silent. So this is the circular polarizer. It's just a standard circular polarizer. But the great thing about these is that they are magnetic, and you just have your normal uh, magnetic ring on your lenses, like I do on all my lenses, and then I can just magnetically clip it on and being a circular polarizer, you can turn it just like this to adjust the amount of polarization that you want. You can then go about thinking about your shutter speeds and then you have a range of ND filters. So this is my 
six stop ND so that just clips on the front like that. And also one thing I love about this is you can leave the circular polarizer on and the six stop there for example and put your lens cap back on and pop it back in your bag um, and it's already there ready to go for next time and in some cases you can actually stack them all together and really like cut down on what you take with you and that's all my filters there now on my camera at the same time so I could just put that in my bag if I wanted to save more space or I could share them over my lenses. So there's, there's loads of possibilities here um, for your photography and also to save space, but they really, really have helped my photography and the way I think about photography a lot more. And like I said, that's, that's really important to me and it should be for you guys too, because you keep things fresh, you keep your brain ticking over and I think it comes out in your images. It's certainly, to me, it feels like it's come out in my images over the last maybe eight weeks, 10 weeks since I've had these. I've really thought about everything a lot more um, because I was just complacent in the past. Uh, but yeah, so if you are interested in getting yourself some case filters, do drop me a message on my Instagram or my Facebook or pop me a message down below and I can help you decide whether you should be going for graduated filters or magnetics or if you just want to chat about case filters and just decide which ones are best for you then just drop me a message. Uh, there are situations where graduated filters are needed um, and I would never rule them out. They are perfect for like seascapes and soft graduated filters are perfect for like seascapes if you have cliffs and stuff. But sometimes you can see where the grad lines are and stuff. It's just about being very, very careful, I think. And I've used graduated filters for years. Uh, talking four years, five years nearly now. Yeah, five years nearly. And they are absolutely fantastic. They really, really are fantastic. And I've got some amazing images over the years. Uh, I really have, but it's just, for me, time to freshen things up and get my brain ticking over again. So I hope this has been informative for you guys out there. Uh, yeah, my thoughts on these filters are, they are just amazing, absolutely amazing. Easy to wipe, easy to clean. I've drenched them in seawater and they're like brand new. They're drop proof like they always are with the case filters. And just the way that they can stack like this and all go in a tiny little pouch like this. It's just fantastic and um, I am biased like you know but they just are fantastic products but I wouldn't recommend anything to you guys that I didn't think was really good or that I used myself so yeah that's my thoughts on the magnetic filters they will be my filters of choice now for the foreseeable future they are absolutely fantastic and I hope this has kind of helped you make a decision or think about transitioning to case filters in the future. So if you do think about it or you want some questions answered, just drop me a message and I will be able to help you out. And also do drop me a message with any suggestions that you would like me to do for my new office setup for videos, post-processing techniques, what I do, tips and tricks, this, that and the other, uh, as I'd like to have some ideas from you guys to see exactly what you guys would like from me. So. I'm going to wrap this one up here. I've got a lot of unpacking to do still. There's so many boxes piled up in the other room. It looks really good from this angle, but if I turn the camera around, uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a mess. But thank you ever so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do consider clicking subscribe below. Give us a like. Tell us what you think down in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one.